So what are the new features added in Java 8? Lambda expressions, stream APIs. So basically we are using Lambda expressions in our uh, current project to improvise the code, the more uh, iteratable and readable. So we are using Lambda expressions, stream APIs. Apart from that, uh, we are using for each functional interface. What is comparable and comparator? Which one you will use in which scenario? So comparable interface, which is having a method compared to, while compared with is having a compare method which we have to pass to object. So comparable is like is uh, is implemented in a class itself. Okay, and the comparator like suppose I have to uh, I have to sort or you know compare in by ID or by by name. So in that case, comparator will be you know getting used so that we can you know separate we can create a separate uh, class or uh, like compare by ID and we can implement that comparator interface. And we can use it uh, in uh, in my my main my my class where I suppose customers or employees a class. So there I can use. So comparator is used when we have to compare by a specific. So if you want to give comparison logic by yourself, then comparator we can use specifically like suppose by ID only or by name only like that. I have to use suppose. How would you detect a deadlock in a running program? Suppose a number of uh, in uh, multi-threading number of resources wanted uh, same resource and no one able to get uh, that resource. So in that case, there is a deadlock. I think that is the information I have. So there are some tools like J Console. Have you heard about that? Never use J Console and means for detecting deadlock. Uh, I never use any kind of tool. It comes with JDK only. I mean, it is not externalized third party tool or anything. It comes with JDK installation. This okay. tool used for looking at the deadlock. There are multiple other J visual and other tools as well. Third party so, tools. It provides the insight of your project. So whatever okay. objects are created, whatever the deadlocks are happening, uh, it can provide that information to you. So what you can do by observing mm -hmm. that information, you can prevent deadlock. What do you mean by continuous integration? Continuous integration means you can deploy multiple services continuously. Like a Jenkins job, you have to add your repository in Jenkins job, okay? And every time if you add some, uh, if you modify your code or if you commit any code, then it will automatically trigger that job. If you build build now, you click on that, then it will create your war file or create your image and you can deploy. It's on that continuous integration. Suppose you want to have some properties in your test property. I mean, while creating your application, you want to use those properties only in test environment. So what you will do in that scenario? Uh, there is an environment, right? Environment dot to get a property. Based on that, we can pick up niching environment. Can you tell me what are the ways to create a singleton class? We can uh, declare the uh, constructor, private constructors and the uh, static methods. Static method, okay. Private constructors, uh, why you used to have the singleton classes. Okay, so why we declare a constructor as private? The constructor, the main use of this kind of singleton class is when you create only one instance of the for a class. If we make this a, a constructor as a private, we can use it in a, many other classes. We are resting the constructor, not to use in other classes. The private, if we decline the, that uh, private keyword, it will be used within the classes. And what are the other things you need to do? Yes, uh, as a static method, I said that returns a type. Static method. Static method, then the return type will be in a singleton uh, classes. In that method, what will you do? that method will return instance of that that particular singleton class so in that method what you will do to achieve that process yes see i'm, I'm declaring the private the static on singleton method okay singleton and the method uh, name i'm checking uh, whether the, this object uh, equal to null uh, if equal to null only i will create that new object uh, new instance will be created Otherwise, it will return the same instances. These are the conditional singleton. can you call a stored procedure from java using spring framework I, I got it for Steam, but something called prepare statement is there. So I, I haven't used it. But here we used to have prepare statement uh, okay. and execute off to provide your uh, that uh, stored procedure name so that it will be called. Can you convert a list of multiple lists into a linear list? Yeah, I understand your question. You have a list under another list. Uh, I think that is for new function. Yeah, so you have a list and in that list, every element has a list of li other lists. Forgot that you build function in Java is uh, something called uh, linking list. Call it as linking list. List. 
linkedin list is something we call it as linkedin list, uh, list is different uh, i think flat map flat list or flat map yeah flat map we call it as flat yeah flat map yes exactly yeah. that will convert all your list into one uh, combined list what is ioc ioc is a uh, means uh, the full form is inversion of control so generally in the old age development right before the spring uh, comes into the actual uh, it world so what we were doing we were doing the for example any dependency right yeah. so we were actually creating the object of that dependency and then then we embed those de- uh, dependency in our constructor either or uh, using setter right so that was the uh, task of the developer to provide a dependency but with the help of spring right that action now it is taken care by the framework only so using the ioc that's inversion of control that control of making uh, control of firing all those dependencies or embedding those dependency is now taken care by the spring only what is volatile keyword in java volatile keyword i hear that but not sure what okay no problem volatile keyword is you i mean volatile is used in threading basically you can mark any variable volatile then variable will be read from the main memory rather than cpu cache so suppose someone is changing the value in between it won't happen because every time you are reading the value from the main memory not from... do you know the internal working of a hash map actually the uh, when we add the um, element input method so the element has get the uh, uh, rises the hash code value and those hash code value hash code value divided by the by default 16 bucket capacity and if the if the index come on on the behalf of checking uh, the value are stored on the uh, on the bucket number how you are testing your application okay so we are not using the framework like the unit etc so the scene okay so what we usually do let's say i am developing some let's say new changes okay so first of all i have to check it from my side and let's say then if my testing is over okay so then what we have to do we have to push that code into the testing environment and then there are some okay so there are some click that basically test the u okay that uh, there are some click that uh, test the ui part as well and then there are some that basically there are some click that are that are checking the you can say that the rest api as well and after that uh, we basically push our code to the production can you tell me what is aggregation aggregation means tight coupling right tight coupling has a relationship you can say which class contains clone method in java marker interface contains the clone method no? which which one marker interface but marker interface is a interface which doesn't have any method okay clone method i think okay let me think rethink i don't remember actually uh, clone method is an op- i think it should it should be an object class sorry it's an object the main class so in spring what are the different features you have used have you used aop uh, yes uh, i have used uh, aspect oriented programming yeah. so mainly i have used it for the point cut notations for that particular thing okay. so for the uh, i have defined the some of the point cuts uh, uh, to trigger the particular uh, methods uh, yeah. as per the requirement so at the rate before at the rate after uh, those things are uh, those point notations why you have used it in your uh, project what is the purpose it is sol- uh, solving so coming to that uh, one example like a login example yeah. so before the logging i want to do some operation so that i i can define some uh, at the rate before yeah. so and i can define that particular thing as uh, exact uh, for that you are matching i will do so that what will happen like before the logging itself so it will do some operations so after and uh, after doing the sign out so i'm um, some things i want to do as a part of that particular thing so i will use it for aggregate after so those purposes uh, it will it got defined for that particular thing yeah. so not only for that particular thing it will be useful for the logging purpose so when you are you are doing something so before the log before the action we can define something and uh, some uh, whatever like uh, those are uh, those advices we can use it uh, wherever we want okay correct correct so apart from logging there are multiple thing uh, things it can be used what is the difference between a set and a list in list i have the some uh, concrete class like array list link list vector and a set and a vector and in set we can we can uh, add not add the duplicate element, uh, uh, element yeah but in a list we can have yeah correct that is correct the main difference is in terms of duplicates so in set you can't have the duplicate <laughs> do you have have experience in hibernate or any other similar technology earlier i worked with hibernate and uh, now spring data jpa mlt you using so in spring data jpa how can we create a custom repository oh, by the uh, that naming convention we can 
we can actually create like if i want to means get some uh, details by name so that we can give the method name the find by name is uh, if that variable name is in uh, entity class is name then find by name if variable name is emp, emp underscore emp name in entity class then we have to give the name of that method find by emp name or find by id yeah like that and if any complex sql queries i want to implement then we can provide the sql sql queries at the method level also